All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on our Sound Goblin Saturday gaming stream. I am, as always, your host, the Krampus. I'm Shiv. And I'm Vincent. All right. And, uh... We are coming back to Resonance of Fate, the 4K HD edition. Uh, we are currently hanging at the opening screen because I'm looking to see if the uh, opening cutscene will play again. Not the opening cutscene when you actually start a new game. The opening cutscene when you first start up the game is actually a different one. Eh, stop pressing stuff and leave it for a second while we run again. Yeah. But anyway, uh, last time we left, we had a brief introduction to the game, then we had to leave for other real-life obligations. Uh, but we were introduced to our uh, three main characters, and the world they live in, which is this giant tower that exists in the middle of nowhere. Yeah giant clock tower with bunches of clockwork everywhere which we're assuming is just plain decorative yeah so, if I remember correctly on the name uh, we, we haven't really gotten into it yet but if I remember correctly effectively uh, everyone lives in this giant tower because the rest of the world is fucked yeah I don't think we've gotten into the, the reasons as to why everyone's living in the tower but if, if I'm recalling correctly I think like the world is super polluted or something along those lines yeah I'm sure we'll get into it at some point yeah it's been I, I played this game when it first came out so ah okay and, so, I, and I did not complete it so ah okay so you have some experience with it I, I have some experience with the early parts of this game okay. which is why I know like basic mechanics how the hack system works and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. And I don't think I made it past the first, like, couple chapters. Oh, maybe it won't replay the, uh... Maybe it won't. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. We'll nope. probably have to restart the game or something, which, uh... Yeah, not yeah, worth no. it right now, but... I'll find a way to capture the opening thing, because it's, uh... It's... Just Vashrian by himself doing extreme gun kata stuff. And I think it's maybe plot related. It feels like it's plot related that we should know these things going in. But whatever. Anyway, we can load the game up. Possibly or possibly we'll just come up later. Yeah. If I see anything that's from that cutscene, I'll point it out. Okay. I mean, as is, we have the opening cut scene, which makes, um, zero sense. Eh. Currently. Yeah. The, uh, the suicide Sorry, attempt chill. as it's thwarted by someone swinging in from a line and grabbing the person. Maybe thwarted. We didn't actually see whether or not they, uh, stopped falling. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's true, because then they started falling, and then Clock Tower, and then... Honestly, Kingdom Hearts yeah. Sanctuary started playing in my mind at that point. And... Uh, it, it's safe to assume that they are fine, considering yes. those are two characters in your party. Yep. Okay. So anyway, we're going to head back out to the world map, because we have a side mission that we were doing. Which is, we need to go check on the power station. But we can't do that right now. a huge power station uh, yeah we want to go to the Hughes power station but unfortunately we need a red uh, yeah we need a red energy hex red energy hex which we do not have I am presuming that we're going to get one as part of the story thing coming up probably a safe bet <gasps> How's that? Well, I was thinking. 
required three monies for doing that. I'm gonna check the one for it real quick, just in case. Nope, it's still just that one. Oh, and we also started the gun customization. Yes. Where mm. we we have started right. to get minorly ridiculous with sight on top of sight. Right. And sight in front of sight. Yeah. But our guns still look like normal guns that a human being would legitimately yes, wield. We, we have not filled up the entire box with modifications yet. No. But that is a goal. Uh, by the way, we're still prototyping the new sound setup uh, that hopefully will allow us to control Discord audio better. Uh, Vince, did you do a sound check? I did. Okay. It's still uh, got that same issue, basically. Now, apart from the audio quality issue, which I'm going to have to go and take a look at and figure out what's going on. See if we can improve yeah, the I mean, quality at all. Yeah, volume is fine, but quality is not. Yeah. Is it just that it's coming out fuzzy, or is it actually, like, garbling the audio? It's a little bit... it's a little bit fuzzy. Okay. Fuzzy is what I'm hearing, to be honest, because of all the amplification that we need to do. So, it's a minor That's thing, weird. and it will be addressed. But anyway. To the Teresa Manor. Oh, the other thing we learned is that apparently everyone's got a star, and you can actually, like, find people's stars and give them to them, which we did for a client. Yeah. And if you find your star, your eyes start glowing. Hi. It's dark early these days. Oh yes, we also learned about the cardinals who are like the the high elite of the city. There was a cardinal apparently that everyone loved who has now been dead for 20 years. This is the extent of what we know about the cardinals. No, it says we need to go here. Oh, right. During the day. Oh. Yeah. Day and night system. We need to... Uh... Yep. I don't remember how we just move around, I guess. Oh, go from day to night? Yeah. Uh, move around, rust in bed, fight stuff. Yeah. Fight stuff. No, we can't fight any stuff up here, so we'll go back no. down to... Dang. It'll also get us some more practice with... Uh... Combat system. Combat, yeah. Really, what I should have done if I was thinking about it was I should have just, you know, run around and ground a little and practiced. Just to get used to the combat system. Since this game uses a very interesting combat system. There you go. Hey. Oh. There you go. Button. I keep messing up Y and X for some reason today. Yeah, I know what that's like. 
even stupider when you're using a um, GameCube like controller and mixing up Y and X. See, it hasn't been a problem yet, but what I'm worried about is we're taking a lot of damage on the, the in-betweens. And it's only chip damage. Like, it doesn't really count as real damage yet. I do a thousand, in which case it knocks off a... Uh, yeah. Energy yeah. Core. Yeah, permanently knocks off one of our uh, hero points, and we gotta go around and pick up the shards of the hero point thing to just get the meter back. Uh, later on, there's a balance between whether or not you should do like the line attacks or just do regular attacks, because the line attacks spend your hero gauge. Yeah, like right now yeah. we pretty much need to do the running attacks or just run up and get close to people, because our time to fill up the meter is so lousy unless we're real close to an enemy. Now that it's day. Good morning. Hi. Enjoying yourself? As a matter of fact, I am. Just how long have you been with us now? Not long enough to be much use. I at least learned to cook. I'm worthless in the kitchen. Excuse me, sir. Cardinal Teresa has arrived. Now even the music stops for her. You two wait here. Well, the band knows better. <laughs> so good to see you again, Vacheron. Dispense with the formalities. Such displays ill suit you. We all know you're a rogue and a bore. <laughs> the boy is looking well enough. It took some time. But he'll be all right. <laughs> you reap what you sow. <laughs> <laughs> She's not your usual type, is she? Zephyr saved her life, and she followed him home. Saved her life? The boy? Yes. She's become something of a fixture now. <laughs> Perhaps he's changed after all. If you don't mind, I'm here on business. Of course you are. I can scarcely get down there on these old legs of mine. And I know you wouldn't go unless I asked you. We got a Fire. flower. Flower. All right, we have a mission. All right, guys, we need to go to the basement and in and kill some rats. Oh, we got some red hex. Got red hex. Yeah. Yeah. A station hex. Station hex. So, energy stations have the following functions. Has this HP in the hero gauge are refilled? We can save and we can. It's basically a save and restore point we can put down. Yeah. 
So we can't get them back once we've put them down, so we want to make sure that Correct. wherever we put them is a place that we want to have a save. However, we can trade the colored hexes for station hexes. Correct. We can train, I believe it's five of a colored hex for a station hex of the same color. Okay. If we find some place that drops... Th I don't know if we're just going to be uh, given those or if we're going to find... Uh, enemies will drop, drop colored hexes at okay. a certain point. Because the whole point of the colored hex thing is to also connect uh, the terminals to places so you get the bonus from the terminals. Right, right. We, we covered that last time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure with the exception of the black hexes, uh, all colored hexes will drop from some enemies. Okay. Uh, uh, black, black, black hexes are given to us by a specific uh, enemy. Oh, I see. Uh, exclusively to get to the bonus dungeon. Ah, okay. So, that makes sense. One of the things I wanted to touch on, you remember that uh, cutscene we were talking about at the beginning? So I'm going to get, I, now I'm going to have to find a way to show off that cutscene, because I think what that cutscene is, is when Vacheron uh, met Zephyr. Because mm. it's Vacheron, like, being led into a place by a priest, and there's someone in, like a, like a younger guy, in a weird zippery cult robe uh, that Vacheron has a big gunfight with. And Vacheron just kind of clowns on him for a little, because it's obvious that he's way more skilled than the guy he's fighting. And at the end, Vacheron has the gun in the guy's mouth, and it cuts away after we see, like, some sort of weird flashback that the cultist has. And there's two shots, but I don't think Vacheron killed him. I think the person in the cutscene is Zephyr. It's a little hard to make out, because the cutscene's kind of dark. At a certain point. Uh, but I think that's what they're referring to in that, you know, thing about, you know, he's turning out okay. Is He's no longer some sort of weird feral child we keep in the cathedral. But anyway. So before we go off and do the actual thing we're supposed to, let's go down and uh, do that thing with the power station. Actually, let's find out what she wants us to do first. Town of Lucia, level 6. Got it. Still not where we're going. Enjoy the elevator cutscene. Skip the elevator cutscene. Yay. Cutscene skips. Okay. So if we bring up our menu here. We do this. Okay. Now that is cleared. Yep. Okay. And now we can go, we can go back to using the regular I'll pieces. just pull the map and see if there's anything we need to grab on in this area. Now, would just trying to fill in all of the map pieces we can be valuable? Because someone had mentioned in town that if you can fill out an entire map, like get rid of all the hexes, there's a reward. Uh, no idea on that. Huh, okay. Right. I mean, we're not going to be able to yeah, do it with the pieces we've got, but we could make some progress on it. Yeah. Uh, so, as far as stuff that's in this area, mm -hmm. um, there's obviously the elevator level 6 that we need to unlock. Right. We got a cure kit. Uh, there is an item that is. Uh, do you see where our red hexes are? Yeah. Uh, the south of our red hexes. South. So, uh, one, one over. One over. So right here? One up. Yeah. Uh, 
Cis Viola. Yeah, it's costume stuff. Ah. Uh, on that top line of the little section we're in, uh, one over has an item. Uh, so right here? Yeah. Oh, Molotov cocktails. Molotov cocktails. And then uh, there's more stuff over by the power station if you want to work our way over there. Yeah. So you go one up from the spot we just unlocked. Has another item. Uh, and then the spot right behind the power station has an item. Uh, that blue one? Not the blue one. Oh. So if you keep going up from the power station, the spot one up from the power station. spot yeah but uh, we don't have a piece that can get it yet yeah i don't think we do uh then there's technically two over by the other little uh blue marker but we don't have the access to we don't have a piece that can get those either yeah all right i'm gonna do a little more spring cleaning over here and clean out some other yep. tiles Oh, I missed that one. Yeah, the first aid kit there. Cool. Yes, because of our geometry error earlier, we actually have a large amount of uh, extra. Should... Actually, you should uh, be able to get four right there. Hmm? You... Rotate to the right. To the right. Uh, up there. Near the oh, yeah, by one. the power station. Yeah, you can actually get the one by the power station. Oh, right here, okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and the actual spot north of the power station, you can get like that as well. Oh, never mind. No. No. It's... I was thinking different direction. Nope, never mind. Oh, well. You still can't get the ones. Yeah, you can't get the one behind the uh, yeah. terminal. Okay, so now let's turn our attention to this thing. We have one red. Uh, there's no reason to place it if you aren't going to use it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's. And we don't really need red. to drop it right now. We aren't in a situation yeah. where we need immediately, heal, immediately healing. All right. Uh, so there are going to be new enemies in this area. We can actually go to the power station now and fight stuff in the power station. Yeah. Our ultimate goal is to go down to level six, um, but. If you want to do the power station uh, in the first area of the power station, we can actually get a piece we can use for a machine gun upgrade. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's take care of the power station right now because that's a uh, mission that we have. Okay. I get the feeling this is going to be a slightly more serious fight than the other two. Yes, also don't forget that you uh, can't just wait and they'll come towards you. Is true. Will we just hit B to wait. I don't remember what the command is. It's almost like you had a tutorial on this. Like several. There we which go. Which gives you way too much information all at the same time. Yeah, if you just end turn, you'll just move on to the enemies and yeah. they'll move up. Stray curves are exclusively melee, so letting them move up so we can shoot them faster is yeah. never a bad idea. Uh, if we want to make the machine gun upgrade, we're looking for a drop from the uh, machine, machine gun, gun gear. gear. Yeah, that spider right there. Uh, yep, it is called uh, Scrapped Machine Gun MS. Yeah, and there's no reason to try and take shots at them from this far away. Just yeah. skip your turns. Well, that's the thing is they're yeah. not moving on skipped turns. Ah. Uh, the enemies aren't coming up. We have to take up the action by trying and failing oh. to do an aim. Pretty sure there was actually a skip turn option. Yeah, there is. If you hit B, it ends turn. 
But if you end turn, it doesn't go to... So the enemies act as you act in this game? Yeah. They're following so super you actually have to be. Rules. Yeah. They do actually, you do actually have to be doing something, it seems, for them to do much of anything. Yeah. Because see, he's moving towards us when we aim our gun. Yeah, so he basically has to fail to shoot the enemy. I'm here. Or succeed at shooting the enemy. Bang. Bad dog. There we go. Thank you, you can save your damage because you were already dead. Like, we can also move? Yeah. If we move, it does the same thing. Yeah, because it needs a part of your turn, that makes sense. Of course, there's that thing. Yeah, yeah, there's also machine gun gear. Thus, moving up and closer might not be a bad idea. Yeah, now do it if you want the machine gun gear. Mostly just get to deal with the dogs, but they don't run up to the dogs, they can beat the crap out of you. Yeah. Because they actually do hit hard. For some reason, Zephyr was thinking of running extremely to the right. This thing is extremely dead upon contact with anyone. Yep. Yep. And there we go. Yeah, machine guns do a heck of a lot of damage, but it's only the chip damage. Yeah. Yeah. I'm oh. assuming the item that we needed was the scrapped machine gun MS. Yeah, scrapped machine gun MS we can use for making a. Okay. Now, granted, that feels like that means, or that feels like you'd want for boss fights to have like two machine guns and one actual person with a gun, or something weird like that. Yeah, the a lot of the screenshots that I see on Steam, because I like to browse the the little community page that comes up when you click on a game, a lot of them seem to go for the two machine gun and one pistol setup. Yeah, which makes sense depending on how many, how much health things have, basically. Yeah. But seeing so this as is how... basically how dungeons work. Uh, you can kind of run around the field once you're not in combat. Yeah. Um, yeah, as you can see, we can't actually get further into the power station yet because that door's not open. Yep. But that's okay. I think we just needed to check on the power station, i.e. make a connection to it. And now I think we just have to run back to the entrance. Yep, yeah, lazily run your way back to the entrance. <laughs> run slightly faster! Yeah, they have, like, towns with normal rain around stuff. You'd think they would just do that. So let's get into the swing of what this game wants us to do. Target that guy. One, two, one over here. And target someone else. Yep. Oh, he's got more health. Yep. He's the leader. Yeah. And... Probably actually shoot the guy at up front first and then finish off the other guy. Yep. Because he'll be running past him first. The gremlin. Yep. One bullet. And our auto trigger comes into play again. I love buying that auto trigger. It's the best purchase decision we've made. And I do a stupid thing. I like my eye. shot yep. very far away. Yep. Getting them to cancel the aim action is a pain because they're already using up the uh the meter. Meter as yep. they're aiming. Yep. Realistically, we can just do this. There. Damn it, 
You did. We got meat. I don't know if it's better that we got right. meat from the goblin or from the... Uh... Delicious, delicious meat. Uh, one of the other things we can do now is we can actually start doing the arena fights. Oh, we can start doing the arena fights. Yes. Okay, we have no other red things that we nope. can do. All right. Well, first, A, I figured out a trick. There are three main areas to town, and there are three hexes that make up the town. So by yep. going to the map, we can just go to the hex that go we want to the town. Yep. Hi. Hey. Yeah. You can also <laughs> craft your machine gun upgrade while you're here. Yes. We got Sonic Chug. Mm, delicious Sonic Chug. Uh, made from real hedgehog meat. So ironically from fake hedgehogs. Yes. If you need something crafted, I'm your man. Okay. The item you're looking to be able to make is the MG High Barrel. MG high barrel. Okay, we're only missing scrap iron for that. We have the. Yeah, yeah we have the scrap you MG. Else, you know where to find me. Yep. We stock any ammunition you could imagine. Uh, so we any should... ammunition and all these creepy dolls that are here for some reason. We do not have any uh, scrap iron. We'll need to go out and get some scrap iron. Uh, we'll need to go out nice and harvest day. some scrap iron. More combat! I actually really like... You, you said you want to get better at combat. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm not complaining. I actually kind of dig the combat system in this game. It just obviously takes some getting used to. Yeah, exactly. You might as well do the arena because they may drop scrap iron in there. Yes. I'm yeah. going to go eat. I'll be back. Alrighty. Yeah. You're going to miss all of this grinding. Welcome. Oh, no. <laughs> it's you. Go ahead. Okay. Huh. Can we die for real in uh, the arena? I don't know. I mean, I learn more about combat challenges. What happens if you lose. Oh, okay, cool. We just get booted back to the front desk. There you go. There we go. to do a combat challenge. Poor unlucky bastards. Necessary amounts of chip. I didn't uh, quite get the uh, targeter over by the time his run was over. That last shot yeah. was because he hit the end of his run and he had a uh, auto trigger go off. Copper coin. What kind of hey things there. can we win at the battle arena? Let's see. Anti damage, anti heat, anti ice. Song Chug. Oh, Song Chug. Grenade. Doubles movement speed. Uh, excels in HP breakage and knockback. Percussive rounds. Normal 
line of fire. Pistol. Yep. So pistol, a long scope, big old magazine. Energy mag. Cuts all elemental damage. Bass Allen's. Counter rate lowers, collect drop items from farther away, increases drop item drop rate? rate, but lowers experience. Yep. Increases and experience, but lowers item drop rate. Uh, friendly fire preventer. Yep. Makes bonus shots more often, but lowers your smackdown damage and vice versa. More smack to damage, less likely to get bonus shots. Uh, knockback chance. Yes. A rare chance for a critical that just immediately breaks body parts. Uh, some clothes. Yep. Okay. Rank one dash two. One dash two. You look tough, but you're in our house now. Yeah, no leader. Okay. I don't think any of the uh, arena fights have leaders. Yeah. Getting glass shards, but getting money. Yeah. One dash three. Is there a limit? Like, are we gonna hit like one dash four or one dash something like that? Or uh, I think it's all sets at three, so you'll get into two dash one, two dash two, two dash three. Ah, okay. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. I'm just going to think about the ethical implications of us gunning down two people and a goblin every one of these fights. <laughs> hey, they pay us more every time we do it. Yep. Thank you. 
Dang it. It's kind of finicky about when it wants to change targets. Got him. Got him. Huh. I guess I go up to five. Yeah. I was then, kind of looking at it says fight three battles and you can do the next rank, but. You want me on offense or defense? Leanne goes both ways. Good to know. Hey, save it, why don't you? <laughs> Classy. Fine. Oh. Oh, I didn't get too close. I think it's just going to keep going. There are other ranks. Huh. Rank one, the very bottom of the pile. And this, this is a guide for the original version that came out, not the remix. I don't know if they changed up the arena or not. Check. Do we have a copy of the bestiary over here? No. Do not have a copy of the bestiary. What's up? Soft surf? Yes. Made from 100% Bigfoot milk. You wouldn't know from taste. I had no idea what it does. We know where we get scrap metal from. <laughs> I can just go ahead and check out the bestiary over here, but. Uh, what kind of, what are we looking for, specifically? Just called Scrap Metal, or is it called something else? Uh, it's just called Scrap Metal, I believe. I'll go and double check. Scrap Metal does not come up in a find of the Beast Jerry listings. I've probably gotten the name incorrect, then. If you need something crafted, I'm your man. Scrap iron. Scrap iron. Okay. If you need anything else, you know where to find me. There's nothing in this wide world. Can't uh, be drop and pick these. Can I drop scrap iron? Uh, they are level four arena, rank four. Uh, rank seven arena. 
Uh, we can get some from Dwellers on level 6. Ah, okay, so level 6 is where we're going anyway, so... Uh, rank 4 Arena, yeah, looks like Rank 4 Arena, Rank 7 Arena, and then Dwellers on level 6. Uh, one other thing we can do mm -hmm. um, is... Uh... Um, you can, if you want, go collect three more of the, uh, scrap machine gun MGs. Mm -hmm. Uh, because we can use them as they try and land the next chapter. Ah. We did get a couple of costume pieces. You can change costumes in the uh, uh, the base, if I remember correctly. Right, there's multiple yes there are multiple slots multiple slots okay got it it's kind of like a red one weird flannel shirt and I'm back I'm back, I'm back. And I see you're playing dress up Yep. yep. How oh, to make this character look as stupid as possible. <laughs> right, so she can have gloves or gloves. Regular leather colored leather. <laughs> All right. Takes a lot of effort to make this uh, real leather look like fake leather. <laughs> yep, that's the thing. Every time we find that guy, we keep getting more and more money. All right, to level six. We'll get into fights there. It's a fake. Yeah, real flowers aren't easy to come by. Oh, yeah, you're right. To the right. Just a little more. There. That's it. If it's pretty, who cares if it's real or not? You know, when the entirety of human civilization is on a ridiculously tall uh, structure such as this with several layers, yeah, growing plants is going to be a challenge. Lucy is what we're looking to unlock. Yeah. That red place. Yes. Uh, as far as things to unlock, uh, the items we can unlock, uh, there's a handful of things around Lucia itself. Like Forsaken. I'm talking like items to unlock on the map, not yeah. oh, okay. locations to unlock. Yeah. There's 
there's that. Uh, if you go southwest from Forsaken, both those spots southwest of it have items. Okay. Uh, so, like, these spots or this? The southwest. There we go. Uh, and then if you go straight west along the line from that leftmost one you just unlocked, there's one there as well. Or two down from the elevator. Two down from the elevator? Got it. Yes. Uh, three up from the elevator has a spot, and southwest from the green terminal has a spot. We felt a need to pick this up. Oh, dropbacks. Uh, you'll need to use red stuff to clear out Lucia, obviously. Yeah. Because it's red. You also still have to connect to it. Yep. Yeah. Just realized that. Uh, the little bottom right corner has a thing in it. This square? Don't we? Yes, but don't I, we have Thunder Reds I, on it? I know, I know. Just confirming. Yeah. There we go. Uh, and then the spot just, uh, just north of the tip of Lucia uh, has an unlock or has an item. Uh, that is an item we'll need for a turn in much later on in the game, so don't sell it. Okay. Uh, and then that one spot on the north that you haven't unlocked yet or uncovered yet also has a uh, an item. Ah. Okay. More Molotovs! Uh, there's also, yeah, there's also a handful of stuff we can get over to the left, but that's dependent on having enough pieces to actually unlock all that area. So. Yeah, exactly. I think we're mostly concerned with over here next to Lucia proper. Yep. Okay. Now to move the cursor about. <laughs> Until it gets punched. I think we got the scrap we needed. Yeah, it won't show us our... Uh, there we go. Right there. No, that was fabric yeah. scrap that no, we got, you, not scrap iron. Scrap iron does not drop from any enemies you fought. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to assume those enemies actually have to be made of metal. The, the, the enemies you fight you want to fight are in Lucia. Oh, they're in Lucia proper. Got it. Yes, Lucia is the location. Not this floor. This is floor six. Well, you said they were on floor six. So. Yes, in Lucia.
they're dead. So, no. Do you think it's like the nanosecond before they died, they learned their lesson? Oh, even towns have sub-hexes in them. Yes. Ah, we're just getting into gunfights in the residential area. Don't care. Fat gangster. Fat gangster. Uh, Dweller is the particular enemy we're looking for that has a uh, scrap iron as a drop. Hey, that guy who's already basically dead. Yeah. Leader assault. She's already helping. Yeah, she's doing plenty. She's the person who most often gets the kill shots. You know, better or worse than any of the other characters, because it's... yeah. It's not huge functional differences between the party members. Uh, well, it's actually it's really important to get on the to level six map. What's up? Uh, there, there's a uh, bezel shard. Oh, okay. If we collect a bunch of hexes, we'll go over and get that. Yep. We also got a purple hex from that last one. Ah. We earned a skill. Penetration rate. I'd say our work here is done. Looks hey, we got another up. shape of Hex. Da, 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 da. Oh, abandoned energy station. Yep. Oh, okay, we can rest and save here. Yes, it, it is a, it is a uh, energy station. So because we have not dropped a save recently, let us drop a save. Never a bad idea. Yep. Alright. You can do like one or two more fights and then we'll move on. Let me out of I don't I think I the dweller that we're looking way. for Maybe is in this section. Dead. What 
difference does it make? experience on uh, Vasheron. Well, you know. But yeah, I guess getting the... <laughs> converting the scratch damage into real damage is a bunch of XP, so... Yep. Just taking out the trash. Meat. Again, don't ask questions. So before we actually go into downtown, which is the next place to actually go, uh -huh. we should try and get that, uh, that other bezel shard. Okay. So if you look at the map, uh, all the way to the north now, you see that purple uh, uh, thing is there on the left side? Uh, yes, the one that's not close to Pateropolis? Correct. Okay. Uh, it is four north of that. Four to the north of that. Got it. From, from the way your camera was pointing. Okay. So from this direction. Four north. Yep. Four north. Okay. Well, let's see if we can make a path there. Yeah, just do like a straight line all the way down. Use our new fancy purple hex. That's a different color purple than that one. Oh. Yeah, that is the ah. color purple. <laughs> okay. There we go. One is purple and the other is violet, and I'll be damned if I know which one is which. Right. That sends my color commentary. Yes, a basil shard. <laughs> uh, also, uh, while we're here, uh -huh. um, so if you go, uh, well, so where your marker is right now, uh -huh. go right twice, up one. That spot has an item. More hand grenades. All right, now to find some horseshoes. Is there anything else that's really good we can grab right now? Uh, it's only clothing items. That's only clothing items. That's a first aid kit, but it'd take a ways to get to. Uh, you see the path to the core lift, too? Yes. Uh, so from, like, the doorway entrance, that little hallway. Uh-huh. So go down the, down the hall, basically. Uh, and south. And west. Right there has a first aid kit. Okay. All right. Uh, twenty twenty one or twenty. We are low on map pieces. Yeah. Um, so to the left, uh, so go left, your other left, mm -hmm. down one, that'll be two things. Another cure kit and, uh, costume item, this pump. little hairband, at least yeah. for the icon. Anything else of note? Okay. Uh, a hair color, I think. Oh. Which is, uh, if you go left and then uh, down, basically nest nestle in that unlocked corner south of that. This one, like right here? Yep. And it looks like the other stuff is further out with which are just um clothing items, so Okay. 
Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll eventually clear out we'll, all of this. We'll have to go to Pateropolis at a certain point anyway, so yeah. we can clear out that stuff and we're doing that. Okay. Cool. We at least got a bezel shard. Yeah. Watch and learn. This is how a fight's done. Okay. Get a bunch of bezel shards. We get extra bezels. Extra bezels. Which means we won't constantly be in danger of running out of bezels, which is a real bad situation to be in in this game. Uh -huh. Knockdown rate up times two. why these guys were carrying gasoline. We're just going to accept it. I'm not much for backing down from a fight. What's your last? You're hard to miss. Game over. I might build a fancy triangle attack. Oh, those fancy that. triangles. A fancy triangle attack. Do I enable the fancy triangle attack? Is, uh, it was a button. Is there somebody in the triangle? Uh, yeah, the leader is in the triangle. You can see the. Uh... Okay then. Yeah. I think. Actually, no, I think he's outside of it. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure if they let you do it, you'd just be running in um, a triangle formation shooting no one. Oh, no, you can shoot him. Well, okay. no, the, the whole point is not that you're shooting. You can shoot things on the inside of it for a bonus, I think, but you can target anyone who's outside of the triangle attack, I believe. Yeah, you're not required to shoot people inside. It just the benefit of the triangle attack is that it does multiple runs at once. Every resonance point you have is another time when they'll run along the track of the triangle and shift positions, which is another chance for you to fire. Down time. Oily grim. There's the drum carrier over there. And there's a gold box? Ooh, fancy.
Take that wall. Busted oil drum. Anybody left? Oh, this is a gold chest. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Oh, we got an HG high barrel. Yep. Uh, we cannot access the menu from here, though, so. No. You're in a dungeon. Lots of guys. Maybe now is the time. It's all about having for the grenade. right tool for the job. That's not going to hit more than one of them, though. I don't think. What's that? A grenade. Uh, save your grenades. You're gonna want them for the boss this area. Got it. Back to save save your grenades for bosses in general. We can't buy or make them till chapter five. Oh. Ah. Once we get to that point, we can be a bit more of our grenades, but until then. Yeah, tell them my see on. Be careful about self destruct out there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, and, and until we get to chapter five, grenades are effectively a premium. Mm. Run into the wall. Yeah, but I kind of figured they'd give me enough time to do the jump. Nope. Not when you're right up the wall. garbage in this game. I mean, there's like a metal screen in the middle of that cover. And they're saying right next to it. My cover's fine. Cover doesn't stop the enemies from walking up to the cover and shooting you. Yes, yeah. but not us, fucking magic. Yes, but us taking cover behind it just makes us targets for people who are walking up to it. It's better to stay completely mobile. I mean, yes and no. It does let enemies walk up to it, but if enemies aren't next to it, then cover works perfectly fine. It also does waste their time moving. Which, if they're ranged characters, is uh, fairly useful. Should be a chest in this room. Yep. Yeah, right. right Three. Overly elaborate chest. <laughs> Three of the purpley energy axes. There's the dwellers we're looking for. Yeah. Okay. The 
if you are, you can run on top of the platform. Just make sure to do jumps if you want to end up up there. Right. I think I do wish is that I do wish this game would just give the auto pause while you're retargeting. Now up onto the platform. Yeah. Oh, there's another guy back behind the platform. Yep. We'll take care of him when the time comes. I mean, the dwellers aren't really a concern. Jump. It jump doesn't... The jump has a charge up. It's gonna take some getting yeah. used to. Certainly chipped. Chipped up. <laughs> Look, if I get a bonus shot with the gun, it's only going to do chip damage. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Some scrap iron. Scrap iron. Yes. A okay. thing of scrap iron, but it should uh, be enough. So there should be two bronze boxes and a uh, gold box in here. I see the gold box. Oh. It's all about having the right tool. For Oops. There isn't a weapon made that a real broken hand. Okay, so we got an escape hex.
And here's the two bronze blocks. Three red energy hexes. Three red energy hexes. Yeah. Okay, so next is the boss, which may, may people consider this to be one of the toughest fights in the game. Oh, well, that's hey. a thing. But can we leave, make that thing with the machine gun and come back? Yes, absolutely. Yes. We will have to go through the dungeon again, probably. Yep. Uh, well, you get XP in a little bit more level, so it's not a terrible thing. Yeah. Let's go ready up some stuff. Even though we have to leave the quick way. Yeah. Or the slow way. Oh, then we have to... Yes, each, each room response. Okay. Well, let me see. Hey, escape hex is more valuable in a way. We the can't one use escape items. Hex we have, yeah. No, you can yeah. use escape hex. That's what they're for. Um, escape hex is... Can be used from the first aid kit. <laughs> yeah, the battle music's not exactly inspired. That's all we got. Won't take much to beat these into submission.
Fat Gangster. Fat Gangster MG. Back up to town. If you need something crafted, I'm your man. Okay, so we got the MG high barrel. Yep. If you need anything else, you know where to find me. Much better part than the uh Yeah, so it's better than the MG expander barrel. Now if we get something can attach to the expander barrel, the expander barrel may be better in the future, but for now. Yes. The MG high barrel is a superior piece. Uh, let's see. We do also have a high barrel for a pistol. Yeah, the HD high barrel. You could imagine. Okay. If you need something crafted, I'm your man. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay. Uh, the sub barrel. Yes, yeah, so we can use the extra scrap iron that we've got to make a sub barrel. Well, if we have custom kit sets. But the other thing is that. Even the expander barrel with the sub barrel is less than just the high barrel bar. Yes, but if you need anything else, you know we can add me. this to a high barrel. No, you can't. The high oh. barrels don't have. Oh right, yeah, the, the high barrel doesn't have. Yeah. yeah, the expand barrels have a connection okay. point for it, but they're not as good as the high barrel on their own. If you need something crafted, well, regardless, we can only make one of them. And we do have one barrel that can still use a thing, uh, yes, 1911, because we don't have another high barrel that we can make. I think you're better off just making two more sides for it, though. You know where to find me. We stock any ammunition you could imagine. Yeah, there's not enough space to put another uh, big site, but we can add another regular site to it. You, you can move the gun. Oh, you can move the gun? Okay. Yes. Uh, have a nice day. Just gotta remove all the pieces first. Can you? You should be able to. I think you could move the gun. Maybe I'm wrong. 
Uh, where's the customization section here? As far as I think it's like you can move the gun and uh If you need more room, simply select a part and use the right stick to move the whole gun down a bit. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So yeah, so if you need more room for more sites, you can make more room for more sites. Mm. At least as much as the grid will give you. Second site for the 1911, then. Well, two more sites for the 1911, if we have those stuff for it. We stock any ammunition you could imagine. Uh, have a nice this day. Interesting. Something crafted. Two. I'm your man. It can be turned into a Ricky site, and then we can put two more sites on top of it. If you need anything so if we want to just blow all of our money. Any ammunition you could imagine. <laughs> to add three more sites to this gun. I do love the idea of us including <laughs> three more sites to the pistol. Okay, we are slightly short on money to be able to completely do that. Need something crafted? I'm your man. Sell stuff. Yeah. If you need anything else, you know where to find me. We stock any ammunition you could imagine. Unsurprising. <laughs> yeah, psychological damage. It does do poison damage, I think is the... I mean, there's no reason to sell it. It sells for one. Yeah, no. Okay, so... We can sell some of these... No, no. Actually... Don't sell the dog shit. I'm not. You do are. Oh. Didn't mean to. Yeah. Yeah, we have plenty of fabric scrap, so sell some of those. another site and then we can glue all these sites together uh, have a nice day <laughs> this gun is gonna be so accurate you guys <laughs> uh, 
Oh, he sees weight limit. Right, weight limits. Uh, who's using this gun? Vashrion. Go to the other pistol we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take off one of our double stack sights from the... So since we have all these sights, just throw one of those double stack sights on top of the stack sight that's on this gun. And then we can throw the two, like, the regular sight still on, uh, or the two regular sights on that thing to keep it underweight. What? Remove one of the stacking sights. Okay. Throw the two rookie sights on this gun. Uh, or one of the rookie sights on this gun. Yeah, throw a rookie sight on there. Then go to our other pistol. And add another stacking sight to it. I can't. This one only has one mount port. The only pistol that we have that has two... You can mount the stacking sight to a stacking sight. We don't need another port. We're adding a port by using a stacking sight. We will have three sights stacked. Each other, <laughs> like a perfectly normal gun. <sighs> See? Perfectly normal gun. Slowly nice. turning this gun into a boomerang. Or something. Slam the other side on that, I guess. Not if I go over. Yeah. That won't be enough weight. Yep. He'll just have to wait till he gets another level or two so he has more weight capacity. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so dumb. So dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so when we uh, you can go to Forsaken, there's a shop there. I don't know if there's anything useful there. Oh, okay. oh, this is a whole town. West today, east tomorrow. You never know where I'll turn up. Just as uh, basic. I uh, just healing items. Healing okay. items and first aids and stuff. Hope to see you again soon. So long. Back alley fight! Oh, I'm bud. Like shooting people. That's normal. You idiots, we all like shooting people. 
Alright. Drop a save at the abandoned energy station. Yep. And now we go fight the horrible no good very bad to boss. Go boss. Yes. <laughs> So it's basically two two approaches we can take for, towards the, for the boss, so when we get to him, I'll explain the two approaches, and you can choose which one you want to go for. Okay. Meat. Oh, that's sick. No level on uh, the end. Fat guys have limb damage stuff that gets in the way of a direct shot. Uh, not if you shoot them from the front. Yes. The, the, from the front, they do, they do not have a uh, limb area in the front. Into a wall. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> uh, I would run someone off to the right, and then you can do a try attack just running through that whole group. Looks like right up here. More to the right. Like run out there, and then you'll try attack with a big line for two of them. Or not. You know, I guess you lose your residence if you got to keep doing lines. Because now he now has zero residence of the two you had before. Yep. I do like that they mark the exits. Mm -hmm. 
Doom, doom. Yeah. Yeah. Mark the color coding. I like it when it gets messy. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> There's level up on it. Throw through jump chance for damage up time suit. Yeah, we got more scrap iron. Yep. Hooray. Right. It'll be useful when we okay. inevitably get more machine guns. Okay, so. So, boss. Boss. We're probably going to go the, the hand grenade route. Okay. Um. Because there's basically one route which is actually trying to fight this fight like a real fight, and there's a secondary route that involves throwing lots of grenades at him. Okay. Uh, so, for the handgun route, uh, basically, when we get to his arena, you, you can walk into his area, so we actually see what his arena looks like. Okay. Just don't, you know, move around or use time. Oh. Yes. Apparently yeah. Umbrella's been testing bioweapons out here. The first boss of the game. Tar Man. That thing. Okay. Sure. So that is Tarman. Uh, so basically, uh, so basically, uh, you face a large platform with two carriers on top of it. Mm -hmm. um, Tarman's on the ground next to a pit of oil, which you can use to heal himself. Um, a couple boxes you can use to guard yourself on the left. Uh, so that big crate there on the left. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, he throws fireballs at you. I see. Uh, if you do go up, he can't climb up there to get to you. So ideally, what you're going to want to do is have uh, Bash on, because he's our guy who has a grenade box. Mm -hmm. uh, go hide behind that box to the left, and then he's just going to lob grenades at the boss to break his defenses. Once the defenses are down, machine gun will do scratch damage, and then our other handgun user will uh, 
uh, start hitting him once his uh, gauge is broken from the grenades. Uh, and then when we don't need to throw grenades at him, uh, Vashron can try and take out the carriers. Okay. You, you can also go for the carriers right at the start, um, but it's kind of recommended to leave them up because they're easy to kill because if you jump, you pretty much always guaranteed yeah, yeah, to hit the barrel. Yeah. Uh, we can use that to get bezels back. Uh, if you do get hit by a fireball, you'll also get that on fire and take on some chip damage. Yes. <sighs> okay. So, Vash goes to the left. Yeah, hide behind those boxes. Hi, buddy. And try and chuck grenades. Uh, can you chuck them from here, or do I have to step out? He, he should be able to chuck them from there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, next turn. Uh, yeah, timing. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't say if you have to step out or not. Okay. And I guess we just need to get these two away from the oil drums, so... Yeah. Because also, okay, so we're trying, uh, because of the amount of damage that's probably getting thrown around this fight, be careful about using hero actions, because we may need bezels around to, uh, you yeah, know, survive. That's true. So we really can't do anything against his defenses until... Excuse me, sir. <laughs> yeah, we, we need to break his, his defenses, basically. I'd probably just have Leanne destroy that carrier since it's right next to us now. Even though it's going to hurt uh, Ashron when you do it. That's fine. So, should be able to throw grenades from here. Or not! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was. <laughs> that makes me glad we made a save. We need to teach Vashron about uh, not underhanding grenades. Uh, so whoever has moderator. Oh, oh, got it. Yeah. Uh, I guess we're also gonna blow these. Uh, hollow point rounds. Wow. On, uh, yeah. Zephyr. Yeah, you might as well. So, yeah, like I said, I'm just kind of... That was the thing. Yeah, his, his attack being hit with a box, so... Yeah. So get out from behind the box and throw a grenade this time. You're hard to miss. You say that. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay. He knocked off part of his right side shielding, so. Yep. to have someone breathe on him. Yeah. Yep, just shoot right into him. Now we're talking. There we go. Oh. Not, really a fair Not bad at all uh, using grenades. Yeah. No. If, if you try and fight this normally, he uh, does a lot of damage. Mm. Thankfully, he never hit us because he was too busy attacking a box. <laughs> <laughs> that does simplify the fight when he decides to not fight us. Yeah. All right, looking around for boxes. Because I'm sure they hit a box or something around here. 
Nope. I do not believe there are any boxes in this area. Okay, I guess not. Run to the exit. Slightly faster run. I can use you. Everyone else is just dead weight. <laughs> you must have said that a thousand times. A lot of good men died here. But there aren't any Also, some okay ones, a few bad ones. No one ever visits. And a herd of llamas. That's an interesting story in and of itself, but no, it's not the time. Like Let's go. The hand slowly closes. Flowers. Uh, now before we go, there's two items here. Okay. Uh, towards the thing. Hmm. Got a fetid oh, crystal. crystal. And over here. And a multi eight RS. Uh, now you can either walk back through the place fighting fights as you go, or you can uh, escape back out. First, before I forget. Yes, we don't have enough weight to equip another fight to this gun. <laughs> You have to use it in a dungeon map. Ah, okay. Uh, from the like first from aid the first box aid thing. Box. Got it. Yeah. Uh... Which, uh, Leanne has equipped. Oh, we can shoot the tar box. Yes, yeah, so he'll heal. When he was alive, he could heal from the tar box. Hmm. Okay. Lip syncing, however, lip syncing is dead. Ones who must make the change. We must banish that suffering from the world. No one knew this better than Prelate Frida. Together. Just as soon as I get a haircut. Someone certainly thinks a lot of our dear departed prelate. Oh, 
I was hated that flask. Flask doesn't work if it's alcohol! Or it's not alcohol! So before we turn that quest in, uh -huh. there's a couple things we can still do. Um, if you want, you can farm up three more of the machine gun scrap pieces, because oh. we'll need them for a quest later on. Basically, just pre-getting them. Goo. And then there is also another side quest we can get in town. Yeah, excellent. Than a beehive. What do you said? Oh, you got hit with bronze goo. Bronze ooze. Is a news, so yeah, guns probably aren't the best. You think guns not overly effective against the news? Go figure. Yeah, I will not. One of the other things we got from being the Atar Man was another bevel shard. Hooray! You're halfway to another bevel. Machine gun pieces. I hope we can find something that can put up a fight. Run forward, dog. Should just be able to throw a try attack now if you want. Everyone should. Kaboom. Alright, got another 
scrap machine gun in this. Yeah, well, we will want three. Yep. You just gotta leave and come back in a bunch of times. Yep. Let's keep this professional. Want to go last? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just how the turn order goes. Can you change between people? That's true. You're going down. There isn't a weapon. Oh, but. There isn't a weapon made that. And yeah, I can't do Zephyr until uh, his bar has charged up. There we go. Bad dog. Oh. <laughs> dog just ragdolled pretty far. And gets caught in the explosion again. <laughs> Fine. Apologies to Leanne. Yes. No machine gun. It was not. It was a glass shard.
We are getting valuable levels, though. Yes. Uh, one of the things you're gonna, one of the other things you can do if you want to increase people's level gain, is uh, swap guns. Because your your character level is a total of all your equipment levels. That's true. So if you like swap the uh, SMG onto Leanne or Vashron with one of their pistols, you can get some easy levels on the uh, people who haven't used SMGs or handguns before. Just to increase your weight capacity and your HP. It's not a bad idea. Why? There we go. Now, eventually your goal will be to have like an SMG and a pistol on everyone. So you can switch back and forth whichever damage type you need them to do at any given time. What, not one person with dual SMGs, one person with dual pistols, and one person with either? Uh, most people pistols. end up doing both on each character. Ah, okay. Just because you uh -huh. do that, and you get in a situation where you need to fire handguns, and the only person you have to ask is a person with dual SMGs. Yeah, that's true. It's a waste. That does seem to make sense. I have to make myself useful. How's this? Shot him down. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Whoop. Wrong thing. Okay, we got our second scrap machine gun. Let's keep this scrap machine gun. Why is my mind blanking on buttons all of a sudden? Are very challenging. Buttons are hard. You gotta press the button, and then you gotta press the button again. Sometimes you have to press the button for a third time, and that's just no good. I'm working here. If only I could develop an AI to press the buttons for me. A button AI. Woo! 
You gained a level round and turned a dog's head. Scrap machine gun. Is that? Oh. He got a scrap machine gun enough. Nice. Yeah, you can go and individually pick up the items. It just picks them all up for yep. you and fight, so. Okay, so that's our third scrap machine gun. Yeah. And then you said there's a whole nother mission we can do. Uh, yes, in town. Um, you're looking for Daniel outside his shop on Razzle Street. Get blonde's bra. Bronze blobs from the bronze ooze. Rawr. Oh, he's got a face on his back. Yep. Our man. That's just a fun name to say. Razzle. Give him the old Razzle Razzle Dazzle. Okay, Razzle Street. Well. Hey, Zabuni. Or Clay. You know, either. Yep. What's up? Yeah, this tower that we're living in, what if we just kind of broke it? Just a little bit. Yeah, for funsies. Vacheron, how good I'm, not po you. I'm not positive it isn't already broken. Care, you can give him glasses. I, I would recommend not yeah. spending money on uh, clothing stuff right now. Yep. You can buy all the clothing stuff you want once we get to chapter like once I hit six and can make infinite money. Ah, okay. Infinite money, you say? Yeah. God damn. Well, that'll be useful. <laughs> That's poor things about this economy, though. Random uh, mercenary is able to make infinite money. Maybe. Yeah, Daniel's found out by the shop on Razzle Street after talking to him. Returned to. Oh, it uh, might be because it's night right now. Probably need to go change the time. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, basically, what it boils down to is. Uh, 
a certain point, there's a traveling merchant who will have um, two items we can use for crafting a uh, uh, gun piece. Ah. So we can basically buy the two items from that person and pay the money to craft it, uh, and then sell it back, sell the crafted piece uh, to the shop we crafted that for 750 profit every time. Okay. So basically, at a certain point, we just buy a ton of the materials to do it, craft a bunch from them, sell them, craft a bunch from them, sell them, craft a bunch from them, sell them. And we'll make 750 money every time we do it. Fantastic. What now? Okay. Oh, this is Daniel. Yeah, he's not giving us the quest, though. What now? Uh, head to our base. Head to our base. Head to our base. Sweet home. So we do not want to advance to the next chapter. Or maybe we do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not in the stuff for the next chapter. Uh, go to Leanne's room. Investigate the top left corner by the cabinet, by the closet. Sorry. Oh, we've already done the the doll quest. Oh, okay. I, I didn't see us do the doll quest. Yeah, That's sorry. Fine. No, it was it yeah. was a blink and you'll miss a thing. But we did de do. Okay, the, so uh, we we did do the doll quest then. Yes. Never mind. I gave yeah. the doll to him. It's sitting in the shop, all creepy. Okay. Never mind then. We're done. Okay, so we're clear to free the next chapter. Yep. Yeah. Hence my comments on the doll. Yeah. I don't pay attention to what you people say. <laughs> How rude. Oh, I can't believe the rudeness. I'm sure we'll drop a fresh save. Fresh save. Been seeing more than our share of monster attacks lately. So, you think that's why there's been so much guard work? That's a good guess. Where's Leanne? The bath. <laughs> Didn't have to say it like Aren't creep. You a sweet young thing. Not getting cold feet, I hope. <laughs> Whatever are you thinking? <laughs> Another monster about to strike. There's a lot of that going around. <laughs> oh, you scoundrel, you. Oh, something always happens just when things start getting good. A monster here? Don't do it. <laughs> hey, not wasting any time. Are you okay? Hurry. <laughs> oh, a blackout. Come on, get your ass up here. What? <laughs> Must have been some monster, huh? Ah, oh, give me a break. So sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> hey, no, you're not. B, don't be. You see anything? Funny. That's I was about to ask you the same thing. <laughs> I didn't see a thing, okay? 
Uh, too small for a good look, huh? <laughs> what too small? Your rack. <laughs> Not a single light. Maybe trouble at the power station. You up for a trip? Yeah, I am. I'm good in the dark. Hey, uh, I'm coming too. You didn't see anything, right, Zephyr? He's good in the dark. Will you knock it off? <laughs> I do kind of like the banter between them. <laughs> Your rack. Whack. Like, he knew exactly what was going to happen, but he still had to say it. <laughs> so I, this is that all the cogs don't require uh, anything from the power station to keep going. They haven't sent yeah. power station, just for cog turning. The whole place would fall apart if the cog stopped turning, so. This place is actually horribly balanced, but there's a gyroscope that keeps it stable. If that gyroscope ever, uh, stopped turning. Who oh, doggy. Some facilities can produce a special effect in linked areas. So basically, terminals will have an effect and a number. You have to have that number of that color hex uh, connected to actually use, actually have their effect go off. Uh, if the dungeons and such are in their color, the effect applies to that dungeon. If you attach terminals via color to elevators, you can also move that effect up and down floors. Oh, okay. Uh, if you attach multiple terminals, you have to be the required number of hexes for every terminal connected, or none of the effects work. Okay. Hey, we got some blue energy hexes. Yep, energy hex four. And just 50 metal coated rounds. Sure, I'll take it. Well, I guess we can now uh, craft ammo at the stores. Yep, can now make metal coated rounds. Da, 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 da. City on level. F oh, that's us. Yes. All right. Let's go talk to some people. Hard at work or hardly working? By the Papa Grim. Kill a gremlin over at uh, the cafe. Get a fountain pen. Fountain pen. You, gremlin. You get on out of here, gremlin. Why do we keep scaring away the gremlin, stealing its money? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Are we the baddies? Gremlin knows what it did. Business has been good thanks to the blackout. If you need anything else, you know where to find me. You'd think people had never seen a blackout before. Okay. Off 
off with you then. Nothing new there. Nope. Just the powder gel you need to make the uh, ammo. <laughs> Just never stopped being funny. <laughs> Three sites all stacked on top of each other. Yep. Huh. Okay, Charles is down here. <laughs> Help him find his notebook. Which I'm assuming is just somewhere here in town. There we go, scrap machine gun MS's. Yep. <sighs> handgun magazine, which I think we already have handgun magazines for everybody. Yeah, we already have HD magazines plus two. Find that notebook. Hey! Hey, you get away from there, Papa Gremlin. So petty. <laughs> Twelve rupees. Also, if the notebook is not in town, go ahead and let me know so we don't search uh, Check on that right now. <laughs> Uh, it's inside Cafe Chelsea. He'll actually tell you that if you talk to him again. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so it gives you like two places. Yeah. So I know. Most people will give you more information on the quest if you talk to them more than once. Oh. Or there's other people who will give you information about it. Like, for instance, um. I hope you put up a better fight than the last uh. Match. If you find, um. The guy who's talking about the fountain pen's father, Alcott. Uh-huh. Um, he'll also talk about the pen and mention so, uh, about it in more detail. Yeah, so there will now be uh, ballwords in the path. There's an enemy fight to them to kill Bollard. That is the oh. Papa Grumman fight. Oh, there's another terminal over there. Yes. Uh, as far as the terminals in this area, uh, the terminal that you're right next to for the cafe uh, increases the uh, knockdown rate. Uh, the terminal that's actually right by the power station mm -hmm. uh, increases uh, item drop rate by 50%. By 50 and then the terminal way up north that we can't see yet because we can't get over there because we're on yellow hexes. Um, that slows the uh, scratch damage restoration rate. Ah, oh, okay. Well, we still don't have... Yeah, we still don't have a shape that can touch that terminal, so it will remain nope. covered for now. So. 
At least we have another shape. But the regular goblins are trash, they're level 3. Yeah. They can pretty much ignore them. Level on this. You're going down. Too late for return. Too slow. You picked a fight. That was your last. I'm amazed the fountain pen is still in one piece. <laughs> Slightly ridiculous, but it worked. Behold the power of triangles. You know, we never actually went into Cafe Chelsea. We had a cutscene here, and that was it. Hmm. Cafe, we mean the section of the tower that we just kind of put up tables and chairs on. Yeah, basically. There's like a little. There's, there's a little over, over there area. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's head back and spread the good word. <laughs> I told you, get out of here, Gremlin. Hmm. All right. More change for the soda machine. <laughs> Work or working. <laughs> oh, another scope. You know what that means. Oh, come on, let's go back. We can convert that into a uh, another riser scope or a top sight. Snap the scope on top of it. Yep. Because that's how guns work. Um. Business has been good thanks to the blackout. Oh, no, wait. That's the wrong kind of scope. You know, the combat scopes are good scopes. Else, one, has, you know one, one is forward, one is back, basically. Sight into a uh, riser. Been good, thanks to the blackout. Uh, top sight. Yeah, top sight. Yeah, I just need to go buy need a custom kit set. You know where to find me. You think people had never seen a blackout before. Off with you then. Do those drop anywhere? This has been good, thanks to the blackout. What? Tops or the custom kit sets? I don't think so. Okay. If you need anything oh. else, you know where to find me. No, those do not drop anywhere. They're not the beast here. Okay. 
<laughs> you now have one site pointing into the mounting of another mounted site, <laughs> which we then strap the site to the top of. Uh, fantastic. This has been a worthwhile endeavor. <laughs> and barrier pattern. Someone gets the barrier pattern. And that's actually all through the side quest for this uh, chapter. Hooray! Okay. That is also probably a good place for us to call it then. Maybe in five o'clock. Yeah, we'll dig into the yeah. actual power station next session. Yeah. I'm going to head back to the house and uh, make a save. Thank you all for joining us on our uh, Sound Goblin Saturday gaming stream. Uh, tune in tomorrow when we'll be continuing Sound Goblin story time with uh, the continuation of Danganronpa, Danganronpa 2 specifically. And join us on Tuesday for more Pokemon nonsense as we go through our Black and White 2 randomizer run. Yeah. Uh, and run into various things that should not be. Yeah, we'll start our adventure into the Twist Mountains. The Twist Mountains. Where you'll run into nothing but the most mundane Pokemon possible. <laughs> Who knows? It's a possible. distinct possibility. All there is is snow cones and keys. <laughs> it's like the junk drawer at a Cold Stone Creamery. Stone cone, <laughs> or uh, ice cream cones, some key rings, a sword... Haunted lawnmower. <laughs> anyway, uh, until then, I've been your host, the Krampus. I've been Chief. And I'm Vincent. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>